everyone, Hannah here, welcome back to the channel. For everyone that's new, welcome, my name is Hannah, I love all things Disney, Lounge Fly, Star Wars, Harry Potter. Today is, oh, I'm just out by the pool, today is Kennedy Space Center Day. Now we've had a morning, originally I was supposed to wear an Epcot Spacey Perth shirt because it looked spacey and my husband had an Epcot kind of Spaceman Mickey shirt as well. Both of those have had to go because I spilt toothpaste all down mine that just won't clean out for some reason and my husband's has got a hole up here in the top. So we've had an outfit change, so I've got uh, the Power to Move You People Mover t-shirt, lounge fly backpack, I've got silver sequin, I figure it just matches my outfit at this point. I don't think NASA's done a lounge fly, if they have let me know. Um, so yeah, we're just about ready to go, I think it's about an hour away from where we are, I have a feeling that it's about an hour away. There's a loud bird over there. Um, so this video right now will be Kennedy Space Centre and I will do the shops in a separate one. We were just about to leave and Mum suddenly said, "Oh, the tickets. So Mum's gone to grab the tickets. Quickly showing Mum's lounge fly because today, originally, she was supposed to be going to the F1 Grand Prix in Miami, hence the Lewis shirt. Can you tell who she likes? But somebody decided when the tickets went up, all of a sudden she went, "Oh." Do I definitely want to do this because we'll need to move plans around and then when she finally decided tickets had gone so she's dressed up for the day even though she can't go to the f1 now we are leaving to go to kennedy we have the tickets i might be testing the gopro out today look at this oh i'm squinting i'm squinting but i've got my glasses with me so i think it's about an hour away i've probably already said that so we have some provisions off we go. So today is Sunday May the 8th. I can see the vehicle assembly building up ahead and we are just about to go over a rather large bridge. She says, oh yeah we're starting to go over it now. Oh there's a better view from this side actually. minutes out. We've made it. Look at that mess on the front windscreen. We went through a bit of a swarm of bugs. We have arrived. We're on the car park. We are on number five. Always make a note of where you park. Uh, they said we go up to the front, we've got the tickets printed off and then maybe find a snack. The lady at the gate, it was $10 to park and the lady at the gate said do the bus tour first. So we'll probably have a quick freshen up, get our tickets and then do the bus tour. Here we are. Oh, I've not been here for at least 10 to 15 years. So I think a lot has probably changed in that time. So we're just waiting to get in now. There's a line for security. We're in, we're through security. Ooh. Okay, so Leo's never been here, so we are probably going to do everything that we can. We are kind of desperate for a little toilet break, so we're going to find a toilet, maybe have a snack, because we're a little bit peckish. I am going to have my picture taken with an astronaut. We've come into the Orbit Cafe because we are a little bit peckish. So we're going to see what they have. By the time we've come in, breakfast has just finished. So these are the options. Hopefully that's focusing enough. Uh, burger sandwiches, entrees, salads, desserts. There's also, I saw a picture on one of these of a pizza. Oh, there it is. So I might grab that pizza. Okay, so three went with chicken tenders and one pizza and then mom got some key lime pie. We've gone with orange soda. This looks really nice. So this is what's left of the pizza. It was lovely. Very filling though. That's why I ended up leaving the crusts. Everybody else has polished off all of theirs. 
We've had lunch. Pizza was really nice. Chicken was really nice. Key lime pie, not for me. They are refillable cups. So we've got, what is it, like an orange and strawberry mix, we think? Crushed strawberry keep, and orange. Crushed strawberry and orange to keep hydrated. Um, I'm squinting, but I've got sunglasses, so that's a bit of a fail, isn't it? Uh, we're now going to try and get on the bus to get the bus tour done. Here is the bus for the bus tour. We're going to go on this. Um, I'm not sure how long this takes. I think it takes you to another building further out. But it looks interesting. Oh, side note as well. Yesterday, Leo's sunglasses broke. He took them off and they snapped. But thankfully, Disney were kind enough to just replace them for him. Here we go. We were at the wrong place for the bus tour. Seeing as how there's this big old sign that says bus tour. In we go, in we go. Oh, blimey. Now, we did walk through the shop to get there. I will be doing a separate shop video, so make sure to like and subscribe to keep an eye out for that. And I've already seen, like, 12 things that I want to buy. Oh, dear. Oh, Starbucks. Hello. Starbucks in Kennedy Space Centre. and today you'll be following me behind the gates on this exclusive bus tour of Kennedy Space Center. Our journey will take us past active facilities and end at the visitor complex's own Apollo Saturn V Center. But before we begin this journey, just like every NASA mission, our number one goal is to return home safely. So always stay seated while the bus is in motion. The AB, the vehicle separate middle, and the bill all the in the Kennedy Space Center. I'll be slow now, and I'll be okay with pictures. Known as the Space Launch System or SLS, carrying the crews in the Orion spacecraft. What is the goal or purpose of sending humans to the moon again? Well, the moon is a treasure trove of science and discovery, and so there's so much to learn from the moon. We're still learning from what the samples we gathered during the Apollo program. The beauty of what we're doing today is that instead of going for a short trip, we're going to stay. And what we learn, we can apply to deep space. Located at the nose end of the Saturn V rocket launch system. Located at the nose end of the Saturn V rocket. at the nose end of the Saturn V rocket. You can relive the experience of Neil Armstrong's historic landing and first steps on the moon. This is the firing launch control of the Apollo mission. This is not a mock -up. These are the very consoles we sat at when men first took off to fly to the moon. Holy moly. I'm going to zoom out. Look at this. Oh, man. I'm zoomed out right now because this is what happens if I don't zoom out. Oh my word. Look how big this is. It's huge. It's just huge. It's absolutely ginormous. And this actually went to space. Oof. I'm almost a bit speechless. Right outside the gift shop, they have this medallion machine. And these are all the options that you can get. So this came out faster than I was expecting it to. I chose this one, the one that says one giant leap and then July 20. So pre failure was not an option. Restrooms down there, there's a cafe, Moon Rock Cafe, if you're hungry along with that little gift shop. Now you exit through the gift shop to get back to the bus, so we're just gonna have another quick look down here and then probably go back to the main complex. There's this little bit at the very end, which I think is supposed to be the moon. You can touch a lunar sample 
Now, I am going to do it and then I'm going to sanitise just to say I've touched it. It just felt like metal. That was the Apollo section. We're now going to get back on the bus to go to the main part and hopefully go see the space shuttle, which I really want to see. Last time we were here, it was like 16 years ago, maybe. So a lot has changed since then. 7,000 acres. Other than the few launch pads and facilities, you just on our way back to the main the part. And we're going this past the big VAB again, the big for assembly building. species of plants and animals. I want to introduce you to Becky, who has been a natural wildlife is. ecologist here at KSC for nearly 35 years. Oh, Becky, I thought that lady on the telly said KFC then. Is that because I'm a we bit We have pinkish? lots and lots of different kinds of wildlife. We have over 400 species that occur out here on the Space Center. Look in the ditches and you'll see lots of wading birds, tall herons, egrets, ibises. There's all there's several species of those and I can pretty much guarantee you're going to see some of those. We have bobcats, raccoons, all, all kinds of animals. Now, what is your role as a wildlife ecologist? One of the main things we do is uh, support operations. So uh, people always think, oh, that's launch. Well, Kennedy Space Center is big and we have a lot of employees. It's like a city. We have lots of roads, we have lots of buildings. And so there's lots of maintenance and construction. So anything that might impact the habitat. All tree in front of all the others. If you look in the middle of it, it's a perfect tree. They started building a nest in there. The truth is they favored this tree for many years. There it is, right there. There's the new one. There's the old one right there. You can see what's left of that. Now, what's going on? Well, we don't think they got it done enough. We are back. Oh my word. Oh, I'm gonna zoom out. Look at this. Holy moly. Right, in here we go. Okay, we're now going into the shuttle part. We were the only ones that came off the bus and came up this way at first. We didn't know if it was open. We were told it is. So we'll have a look around. Ooh. It's quite a walk to get to this part. And then there's more of a walk up here again. That's where we're going. Ooh. Look at this. The actual Space Shuttle Atlantis. Oh my goodness. The show that led up to this I wasn't allowed to film. Um, it was in the kind of theatre right behind me and then it went to like a mesh screen and you saw this behind there, the screen lifted up and we just walked through. I'm going to zoom out. Look at this. Oh my goodness me. I think I'm going to kind of just walk all the way across so you can see all of it. Thank you. Look how huge this is. Holy moly. I mean, you know that these things are big, but then seeing them in person is just something else. So 33 missions, I think this is all the badges as you're walking down, or the patches rather. So Shuttle Express Gifts, this is the one that's inside the Atlantis exhibition. So we've just come out the Atlantis section, um, we're going to have a ponder about and then go into the other big gift shop and spend some coin we've just come out the big main gift shop money has been spent as always uh, we've lost mum and dad I have no idea where they are so I don't know what we're doing next I think we've done pretty much everything we might just have another quick wonder about if not then we will head out Mars Rover vehicle navigator again it's huge in person absolutely huge Look at this monster. This is right opposite the gift shop and then the entrance to the bus tour. So we're going to have a quick look in nature and technology. We were going to go in the Hall of Fame but there's no power to that building so we're going to pop in here and see what's it all about.
Ooh, I'll rush if I echo on there. Restrooms just there if you need them. Oh, blimey. It's very dark in here. Apologies if you're not going to be able to see much, but it's very dark in this little section. I think it's just like a bit of a, a little bit of a walkthrough exhibit. Let's have a look. This feels a bit like a zoo. Nope, fire management. Each year thousands of acres of upland and marsh habit are purposely burnt and removed to remove undergrowth, add nutrients to the soil and rejuvenate the vegetation. Ooh. That's good to know. <gasps> There's a gator. There's a gator. Don't get too close. NASA uses waterways to transport large hardware such as external tanks for the space shuttle. Oh yeah, you can see it just inside there. It's just showing you some of the wildlife that they have about. Oh, we saw one of these on the way in. I'm sure you can hear some of those noises in the background as well. Thankfully, I don't think there's any live animals in here. Oh my goodness. They were telling us on the bus about the bald eagle. They mate for life and there's one tree that they have the nest in that's been there for about 10 years. But the tree's been recently battered by weathers and storms and all that kind of thing. So they're kind of in the process of building a new nest in a tree kind of right next to it. Oh look, a huge turtle. <gasps> Save the sea turtles, don't use plastics. Save the sea turtles. I just heard Leah say it again. Raccoon. Oh, bobcats and hawks. There's a little raccoon. wonder if his name's Rocket. Ooh. Hello, Mr. Snake. Oh, that bobcat. We are back at the villa. We stopped off at McDonald's on the way back. I think we're going to have... I'm doing it again. I've got sunglasses there. I need to just put them on. We're going to have a relax. That might be it for the night. I don't know yet, but we need a bit of a chill. So we're back. We're just going to have a relax for the evening. Tomorrow is... What day is it tomorrow? What day is it today? Today is Sunday, May the 8th. So tomorrow is Monday, May the 9th. And it's Islands of Adventure Day. So Leo for sure is over there. Leo for sure. Oh, lighting is going to go on Velocicoaster. We've got the GoPro, we've got the chest mount. So we're going to kind of do as many POVs as we can. I don't think they'll let you do it on the Hulk. I have a feeling that they kind of get you through a metal detector and don't like any electronics or anything on the Hulk but as many as we can take the GoPro on with the chest mount we will so yeah pool we might go in the pool for a bit I think I'm definitely gonna dangle my feet probably gonna end up just going in the pool to be honest so relaxing evening after Kennedy it was lovely to go back we haven't been there for goodness me at least 10 years so it was good to see all the different stuff um, <laughs> so we've got some sugar cookies to eat as well that we got from Walmart. Leo's just gone to go and get those. Lovely relax, a lovely day. So thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!